Um, this would have been already installed, but uh, we had some issues with the lower ball joint. We had some issues uh, removing the bolt holding the wishbone on, so I just went back to the junkyard and got two, two of the wishbones, both bolts, and then um, the the pair of bolts for the other side for the control arm. Uh, when you do install this strut, there's actually five bolts. There's the usual three, and then there's two extra 10 millimeters. Uh, held on to a bracket. Other than that, this is the progress. I'll show you the the knuckle right now and explain why we couldn't get it off. The new uh, CV axle is in. That was an old one. Let's see, broke straight off. Somebody had uh, already did the ball joint, but they didn't put the nut all the way on. Alright, so here's my knuckle. There's a new ball joint. So usually when you get your, your press tool, you can press it around the ball joint. Well here, the ball joint literally is flush up against uh, this part. So you need to get a special um, like socket adapter kind of that has this part cut out. So imagine a socket with a notch taken out of the side. So it literally only holds from here. It doesn't hold from back here. Without that, we can't pop it out. We can pop it in, but we can't pop it out. Um, I don't have that tool. I rented it from AutoZone, and I do not want to keep it. It's 200 bucks. So I'm just going to take it in and press them in and out, and then we'll put them on. All right, guys. Here's my progress. We got the new control arm, the new CV axle, had the new ball joint installed, got the new tie rod, the new link, the new strut and spring. Just gotta jack it up. This side is done. Another side. We're still working on cutting the knuckle. We cut that side. I'm working on cutting this side. And then I'm cutting this one too. I cut the bottom halfway. Just gotta cut the top. So I'm doing this because I'm gonna cut right here and then down at the bottom and that will let the nut fall or the bolt fall with this piece. And I could just turn this. All right, and on this side, um, you gotta come in from the bottom with the blade facing up. Um, and then I gotta knock down this, knock out this uh, link here. The control arms are already out. I'm just gonna install the new one. Um, but as soon as I knock these pieces out, everything else should go into place. It'll probably take me longer to cut that than to reassemble everything. But that's where we're at so far. And remember, don't let your CV axle drop. You don't want the knuckles to pop out from the little housing in here. So now you're going to have to open it up to get them in there. All right, but that's where we're at. Let's continue. All right, guys, we got... The first chunk of the bolt out, you see it down there? I had to switch blades, man. I, I was using the ones from Harbor Freight, and those were just fucking getting dull almost instantly. I used about 10. I mean, I did get through the control arms and everything, but then when I got these babies, now these. They're like 30 something bucks, but they'll eat straight through it. I cut this in like two minutes. I've been going at this with the other blades. It seems like forever, but yeah, get a good blade. But we're almost there. Just gotta knock this chunk out, and then I'm gonna turn that out. Alright, so there's the whole piece. Look at that shit. That was in there. Now we have that left over to grab on. 
this one popped out quick too. See, and then I just got a small plumber's wrench. And just twist it out. It's going. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna use a bigger one for the other side though. The pushing is way bigger than this side. Oh, she's almost there. And for this one, I used a larger farmer's wrench. The little one fit around it, but it wasn't gripping. And then. Just use a pipe. You turn. It's going. Just do that until it comes out. Alright, we're almost there, guys. A half turn, quarter turn at a time. We're gonna get it. doing that and uh, when you cut it make sure you give yourself enough um, enough metal you know from that sleeve so you can grip on otherwise you're gonna have to grip on to that bolt if the sleeve falls off and in the worst case scenario what I would have done if that happened and I couldn't get that last little piece out is I would have just ground down the whole the whole nut eliminated it guys last couple turns it's gonna come out Oh no, the sleeve's turning. No, the bolt's not turning anymore. Let's see, let's double check. Nothing to this. Nope, it's just turning. The bolt's fucking separate it hit it a couple times Let's see if it pops out there it is nice ring huh alright and now we're gonna continue now we're gonna clamp onto the actual bolt here wish me luck wish me luck All right, we're almost there Thirty minutes later. But that's what you gotta go through. Pain in the ass. It's finally out. There it is. Little bastard. These are all the pieces. Um right off the bat don't waste your time just go and get these blades fucking make your life a lot easier um, I've been messing with it for more than two days 
just because I've been coming out of here and uh, giving it a shot with the other blades, but those shits suck. And as you can see, we got snow, so. But this did it. I'm gonna find that other part. It fell somewhere back there. But, alright, let's put this back together. Make sure you put a shitload of anti seize on all the bolts in case you plan on keeping this. Alright, so now before I can assemble everything, I have to remove this. This little ball joint or link right here. So we're gonna use the same trick. We're gonna put the plumber's wrench on it, hold it down with a pipe, and then we're gonna use a ratchet to break the, the nut free. And then we'll assemble everything. Alright, and that's the setup. The wrench, I got a pipe going through the or under the, the frame here. Then I got the 14 and a 3 8 ratchet and a pipe. And all we're trying to do is hold this one in place and then just break this one up. Once this one breaks, that's it. And this one's done. I'm gonna move it to the other side and I'll be able to ratchet it out, but broke it loose. Just gotta twist it out. Alright guys, we got it out. Check it. And now I can uh, put everything on. Start my lower control arm, upper, wishbone, strut. I'm gonna do the tie rod last after I assemble everything. Knuckle. And we should be good. Make sure you put anti seize on every fucking thing. Alright, uh, y'all. Show you the end result. Alright guys, everything is done. It was a pain in the fucking ass. But we got it done. Those fucking links were a pain in the fucking ass. So it's ready to go. Ready to go.